Hey there, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of 3B TV. I'm Brian. This is 3B Farm and Homestead here in beautiful upstate New York. And this week, I finally did it. This week, I finally submitted my seed order, and I'm so very excited about the varieties that we're going to be planting here on 3B Farm and Homestead in 2018. And in fact, today, I received notification that one of my orders has shipped, and I am so excited about that. At once all of my orders get in, I'll do a video to share with you some of the varieties that we will be planting here on our homestead this year. In my uh, last video about buying seeds that I'll link to right here, uh, I had done kind of some analysis and come to the conclusion that Fedco Seed Company was the company that offered the best value overall per unit uh, price um, for the varieties that I wanted to plant here this year. But beyond just value, there are some other things that I took into consideration when choosing the seed companies that I used this year. Uh, and I, in fact, I ordered from three different companies. And so I thought I would talk a little bit about those in this episode, about some of the other things that you might want to consider when trying to wade through all of these seed companies and trying to figure out where you are going to spend your your money and kind of vote with your dollar. Now, obviously, I'm just scratching the surface here. There's plenty of other great seed companies out there beyond just these that I have in my hand. Um, and so, you know, trying to wade through that and trying to make a determination, obviously, we can't order from them all uh, as much as we wish we could. Um, but what are some things that you might want to consider or think about when choosing a seed company? So again, the first company that I ordered from this year, the line share of our seed company, went, or our seed order went to Fedco. And uh, Fedco seeds, again, beyond just the value proposition, is attractive to me for a number of different reasons. Uh, the first is actually the reason that drew me to Fedco in the first place. Um, back in early 20, maybe 2010, 2011, somewhere in that range, um, my grandfather and I, having seen the consolidation of seed companies in the 2000s, um, I really went in search of the little guy, so to speak. I really wanted to support small, independent seed growers, seed producers, and I was able to do that through Fedco. Fedco is a cooperative of small seed producers. And so by purchasing from Fedco, I'm able to support the little guy, so to speak. And I really, really like that. That's what I want to do. Um, the fact that they're a great value is just a plus. Um, but the fact that by, by uh, buying from them, I'm able to support small independent seed producers is something that's very attractive to me. Now, Fedco is definitely not the only company that does that. But uh, that was one of the things about Fedco that I really appreciated. The second thing about Fedco that I really appreciate is their philosophy. And that's manifested itself in two areas to me. First of all, Fedco has really been on the forefront of trying to protect the rights of people that want to save seeds um, and uh, you know are smaller seed producers. Um, if you've been paying attention at all to Monsanto, uh, they have... Um, in essence tried to copyright and I think they have successfully copyrighted uh, some seeds and then what they've done is when natural processes happen pollinators go from maybe a Monsanto field to a, an heirloom seed field or the wind blows the right way and cross-pollination occurs uh, some of the genetics of the Monsanto um, varieties will end up in the heirloom varieties. It just happens naturally. And so what they've done is they have taken people to court um, and sued people over saving those seeds because they argue that those seeds that have resulted because of that cross-pollination uh, are now violating their copyright. And so Fedco has really been at the forefront, if not at the forefront, very, very heavily involved in the fight uh, against Monsanto and other conglomerates who are trying to enforce these kinds of copyright restrictions on small independent seed growers. And so I really, really appreciate that because even though I have not gotten to the point where I've been saving seeds, in the future if I wanted to do that, um, I know that Fedco has really been fighting for the right 
of someone like me uh, to be able to do that. And so that's something, again, that I want to support. Um, but then beyond that, what happened in 2005, 2006 is one of their seed producers, so our seed suppliers, one of their larger seed suppliers, was actually purchased by Monsanto. And so now they were in a bit of a quandary. This adversary that they had kind of been fighting against, so to speak. And, and you know, I really want to be careful about some of this just because um, I, I don't want to couch it in too strong of language. But here it is, the, this company that they had been um, having difficulty with or a difference of opinion, I guess I'll put it that way, uh, now potentially was going to be a supplier of theirs. And uh, so they were really wrestling with that because, again, that was going to put their business in jeopardy. Um, and uh, was going to make it difficult for them to supply their customers with the varieties that their customers had been um, used to. They contacted their customer, ba customer base and long story short, they ended up making the decision to not use that supplier any longer, um, which was a very difficult and a very risky business decision. But I appreciate a company that is willing to stick to their guns and to, you know, regardless of whether or not you agree with their philosophy or not, the fact that they were willing to stand on principle to me is something that I admire. And so that's something that I want to support. And, uh, and so that's another thing that I find attractive about Fedco. Um, the third thing that I like about Fedco is while their variety list is not um, anywhere near as long as a Baker Creek or Johnny's or some of the other companies that offer just tons and tons of varieties. The thing that I like about Fedco is that the varieties that they offer are varieties that have been um, proven to work in the Northeast. Now, I live in zone 5A, 5B, depending on who you talk to. Um, so we have a short growing season uh, or a shorter growing season, obviously not as short as some. Um, but, you know, cold winters and, um, you know, not very hot summers or at least hot for a long period of time. And so the varieties that Fedco offers uh, are varieties that are proven to work in the Northeast. They're out of Maine, um, but they really focus on, focus on offering varieties that will do well in my climate. And so I appreciate that, and they've really done some of the legwork. Um, so I don't have to. Now, is that to say that if I would order from Baker Creek or I would order from, um, you know, Territorial or someone else like that, that uh, I wouldn't have success with their, their um, uh, varieties? No, not necessarily. But, you know, there are considerations with regards to the length of um, days and, uh, and, you know, the requirements that certain varieties need that may not make make it suitable for me uh, to use in my garden without additional um, considerations. Um, now, I believe Territorial Seed Company kind of does that in the Northwest. I believe they're out of Oregon, and so their focus is on um, varieties that would do well up in the Northwest, I believe. Um, and I know there are other seed companies that do that. So that's just something else that you may want to consider is um, looking for a seed company that is in your uh, geographic location um, because they are probably going to carry seeds that would do well for you. So that's uh, beyond the value proposition. Those are some of the reasons why we use Fedco this year and we'll continue to use Fedco in the future. But I also ordered this year from MI Gardener. And my gardener was one of the other companies that I evaluated this year. And in some areas, they actually were a better value proposition than Fedco was. Um, but that's not the reason or the sole reason why I bought from MI Gardener. Because really, quite frankly, the difference in value probably doesn't justify a shipping charge just to order from MI Gardener when I could just order those seeds from Fedco and pay no shipping charges at all. But... I really wanted to support MI Gardener. Um, I have learned a lot from the MI Gardener YouTube channel. And so my order from MI Gardener, while again, I ended up ordering a lot of values that, or a lot of varieties that were even a better value proposition than Fedco, it was more about me wanting to support um, their efforts on their YouTube channel in a way for me to say thank you 
uh, for the knowledge that I've received from them um, by watching their YouTube videos. So I think that's one of the great things about when, when you're going through and you're looking at a, evaluating a seed company is you have the opportunity to vote with your dollars and to affirm um, what that company is doing, whether it's Fedco and kind of their fight for the rights of small seed producers, um, or if it's MI Gardener in supporting their YouTube channel. And some people, while I find Johnny's by and large to be a very uh, kind of expensive compared to other companies, um, there's a lot of great information in Johnny's seed catalog um, from the standpoint of uh, beyond just the descriptions, but how to plant these seeds and what to expect and just a lot of great information here um, and comparison charts. And, and so, you know, someone might choose to order from Johnny's because they want to support something like that. So in my case, I ordered from MI Gardener because beyond just the value proposition, it was an opportunity for me to vote with my dollars and to support their YouTube channel. So very excited about them um, and receiving seeds from them. The third company I ordered from is a company called Totally Tomatoes. And quite honestly, I knew zilch about them. I didn't receive a catalog from them. I've received, I believe, catalogs from them in the past, um, but I don't know who owns them. I don't know, I know nothing about them, nothing. Um, the reason why I decided to uh, order from Totally Tomatoes is because there are two varieties of peppers that I desperately wanted to plant. And Totally Tomatoes was the only company that sold both varieties. Um, I could find the one variety at some seed companies and the other variety at others, but I wasn't able to find both varieties at a single source except for Totally Tomatoes. And so that's where I ordered from because I desperately wanted to to uh, plant these varieties. Now, it's the Volcano Pepper and the Mariachi Pepper. And these are peppers that I was introduced to by a friend that I used to work with. Um, and he grew them and they were just prolific producers. He would bring them in five gallon buckets to work. And I was able to get them from him for several years in a row and they together make the most wonderful, th the best tasting um, pepper sauce, uh, pepper, yeah, sauce, I guess, is what you would call it. Um, and it's great on hot dogs, it's great on eggs, it's just, it's awesome stuff. And it's, it's kind of sweet, but it's a little spicy. Together, the combination is great. And so I wanted to, uh, be able to plant those peppers again this year, or for the first time actually. Um, the guy that I, I uh, used to work with, um, last year I didn't get any peppers from him and I wasn't able to make my pepper sauce and so I'm about ready to run out and uh, so I need some of these peppers in my life and I've actually changed jobs now. Dave probably would be willing to hook me up. In fact, I think maybe the last, I'm trying to remember the I think I was still at my former job when I got the last batch from him. but. Um, he's st I'm still in contact with him because I actually contacted him to find out. I couldn't remember what the name was of the volcanoes and uh, asked him where he had purchased them from. Though he had purchased them from two different seed suppliers, but uh, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to pay two different shipping charges. So I chose to use Totally Tomatoes just because they were varieties that I think are must-haves for me. Now, um, you may run into the same situation where there are some varieties that you absolutely love, that you've had great success with, um, and uh, so you've gotta go find the varieties wherever they may be, and uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but I just wanted to share with you some of the reasons why, or some of the things that we took into consideration when placing our seed order this year. And uh, so, very excited. As soon as the seed order comes in, I will put together a video, I will share that with you, and, um, Man, I'm looking forward to a great harvest this year. So hopefully uh, you've enjoyed this, you found this helpful. If there's some other things, um, some things that you've taken into consideration, um, some things that maybe I should be thinking about that I haven't, let me know below in the, in the comments. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts. And uh, you know, if there's some other companies I should be looking at, let me know that as well. We uh, would love to um, you know, vote with our dollars as best we can. Um, and uh, support uh, great companies along the way. So until next time, everybody, please like, share, subscribe, 
and um, we'll catch you on the next episode. Talk to you later.